Hello everybody, my name is Jennifer Maker. Today we are making water slide decals on the Great Maker Show and Tell. So about a year ago, someone asked if I would show them how to make a water slide decal for a mug. And I remember thinking, water what? So if you were like me and not sure what a water slide decal is, this is a really great way to get full color designs onto smooth surfaces like tumblers, mugs, and glasses. It's called water slide because you soak the decal paper in water, which allows it to slide off the paper backing and onto your surface. It's really amazing. So here is a glitter tumbler with a water slide decal at the top and the bottom, the front and the back. It's vibrant and transparent. You can even see the glitter right through it. And this is a mug with a water slide decal that has words. And this is a wine glass with a sunflower. And I printed all of these decals at home on my inkjet printer and I cut them on my Cricut. For this project, you're going to want to start with a surface. You can use a glitter tumbler as I did. I have an entire tutorial on how to make these from start to finish. Or you could use a mug, a glass, or even wood. It just needs to be pretty smooth. And you'll also need a printer. I made mine with an inkjet printer, but they also sell water slide decal paper that works for laser printers. I used an HP Envy inkjet printer to print my decal and it did a great job. You'll also need the water slide paper itself. I have links to the exact paper I used as well as several other good ones in the description of this video. I recommend the transparent paper if you want to be able to see the surface of, of your mug or tumbler or whatever through it and that is what I'm using as well. Other supplies and tools you'll want to have on hand is a can of acrylic sealer, a bowl of tap water, and some paper towels. Oh, and you'll need a design. You can get your own, buy one, or use my flower garden design. The garden in this design is filled with images of my paper flowers and paper butterflies. I thought that would be fun to do and it turned out great. So let's head on over to my blog so I can show you where you can find this free flower garden design and then I will show you how to print, cut it, and put it onto a surface. If you'd like to use my free flower garden design, go to my blog at jennifermaker.com and click on libraries up here at the top. Then scroll down and click on enter the free resource library right here. You'll need to enter your password. Uh, the password is at the bottom of any email that I send you and it's also available at the bottom of my blog. You just need to fill out a little subscription form which is free. Once you're in the library, look for the flower garden decals PNG and that will download and it'll open up and usually it'll unzip for you but if it doesn't you'll want to double click it to unzip it. Now if you don't have a Cricut you can skip the next part but if you do have a Cricut let's head on over to Cricut Design Space right now. And we're going to upload the flower garden decal so click on upload then click upload image and browse and you'll want to locate the file that has all of the images. Now you'll note that inside of this directory that you downloaded, this fo folder, there are several files. Some are labeled as smooth, like these two here, and some are labeled as precise, like these two here. If you intend to use the decal on a tumbler, use the smooth versions. These are easier to handle and apply, and you won't be able to see the edges of your decal after you seal it anyway. But if you intend to use the decal on a wine glass, Use the precise versions like this one here. I use this one myself. That will minimize how much extra decal you see around the edges of your design. For mugs, you can use either one. If you are new to applying water slide decals, go for the smooth versions. They are a lot easier to apply. So let's go ahead and select a smooth version of the flower garden design. Click on open. And then when the screen comes up, click complex and click continue. It's all set and ready to go. Go ahead and click continue. Make sure your image is selected as print, then cut, which it is, the green box around it indicates it's selected, and click save. Now it might take a little while to save, this is a fairly complex file, so give it a little time and be patient. Now once the file finishes saving, go ahead and click on the image to select it and click insert images. 
Now when your image first comes in, you'll need to resize it. I have this image set to a higher resolution so it prints nicely, but that means it's larger than it should be when it's first uploaded to Cricut Design Space. So select the image, just click on it, and then up at the top, you'll wanna to use these size boxes to resize it. Just change the height to 9.25 like this, click the return key on the keyboard, and it will resize to exactly the size that I used for my tumbler. Now, of course, you're going to want to measure your tumbler or whatever you plan to put this on. You might need it to be smaller. Um, if you need it to be larger, then I refer to my larger than mat tutorial to understand how to break up files across multiple mats. Um, but chances are you're not going to need to go any bigger than this. And that's it. Your design is now ready to be printed from within Cricut Design Space. And I'll show you how to do that. But first, let me say that if you plan to make your own decal, I recommend you put a white box or circle behind the images, just as I've done here with my flower garden design. For example, let's go find an image. So click on images over here on the left side, and we're gonna look for a full color image that's super cute, like this sewing machine here. So click that and click insert images, and put this over here. Now click on shapes over on the left and choose square. Change the color of your square to white up here. So just choose the white box, and then let's move the box on top of the sewing machine and just make it a little bit bigger than the sewing machine itself. And you can click this unlock icon in the lower left corner so that then you can, um, it doesn't have to be just a square, it can be a rectangle. So just like that. And now we want to put it behind the sewing machine. So go to arrange and click send to back. There we go. So now we just need to select both the rectangle and the image like that and click the flatten button down in the lower right corner. And that's it. Now this is ready for a water slide decal. All right, so once you have your decals ready to go, click Make It in the upper right corner and you'll see your images appear on the matte preview screen. Note the black box around the image. This is necessary for the Cricut to locate and cut it precisely. So go ahead and click Continue. Now it's time to print. To print your decal from within Cricut Design Space, click Send to Printer. And in the box that appears, you want to turn off bleed. You don't need that for water slide decals for the most part. If you're doing the precise one, it's fine to leave this on, but we're not. We're doing the smooth one, so go ahead and turn that off. And then you'll want to click on Advanced Options right here. Now, if you're not using a Cricut, that's okay too. The next steps will be the same regardless. In your print settings box that appears, make sure the correct printer is selected. So I've got my HP Envy right up here. And then make sure your print quality is as good as possible. So I'm gonna slide this all the way over to the far right and make sure your paper type is set as glossy. So photo glossy paper, just like this. Now your screen might look different than mine because this is based on your operating system and your printer, but this is what you're looking for. Glossy paper, photo glossy paper, in fact, and the best possible quality. And this will give you the most vibrant image with, with the highest resolution possible. When you're good to go, click print. All right, so get out your water slide decal paper. Make sure you're using transparent and inkjet printer paper, assuming you're using your inkjet printer. Now the paper has a dull side and a shiny side. You want to print on the shiny side. So you need to make sure that you know which side your printer prints on. If you need to do a test cut first, definitely do that. And if you don't have an inkjet printer, there is a laser version of this as well. So this works in a laser machine. Just make sure you're using transparent. It does come in white, but I like the transparent better. Now your next step is to seal your water slide decal three times. Now make sure that you're spraying in a well-ventilated area and wearing a respirator. I am using Krylon Crystal Clear Acrylic Sealer. The brand isn't so much important as the fact that it's an acrylic sealer. You spray it, you wait 30 minutes, you spray again, wait 30 minutes, spray again, and then wait 30 minutes. My instructions actually said to wait just a minute or two, but that was definitely not enough time for it to dry in between coats of sealant. So I advise that you wait 30 minutes. Now, once your water slide decal is dry, it's time to cut it out. 
Of course, you can just use scissors if you'd like, if you don't have a Cricut or any other kind of cutting machine. But if you do have a Cricut, this is how you do it. Put it on your mat in the upper left hand corner, straight as you possibly can and load it into your Cricut. Now, once you press that go button, your Cricut is going to start looking for the calibration lines, which is that big black box around the edge of your image. And it's using that to make sure that it knows exactly where your image is so that it can cut it precisely because that's the whole awesomeness of a cutting machine like a Cricut. So I'll speed this up here since you don't need to watch the entire thing. And you'll know, and I'm messing around in the back here, you need to make sure whenever you use a Cricut that you don't have anything behind like these cords that might trip it up. So I had to move them out of the way. But like, it's amazing because it cuts it out exactly the way I want it to. Now I need to note that when I cut out mine, I use the precise version, not the smooth version. So you're probably gonna use the smooth version. But I wanted to make sure that we could use that precise version. So I tested it with this one. All right, so when it's done, you just unload it and your water slide decal is ready to go and ready to be applied to your surface. But before you can apply it, you need to prepare your surface for putting on your water slide decal. Now I'm gonna use several different things, one of which is a glitter tumbler. So if I have an entire tutorial on how to do this from start to finish, but I'm giving you a little preview of how I prepared this one for this particular project. It's, we painted it white and we sprayed it with spray adhesive and then we did a blue and white ombre uh, glitter effect and I have a tutorial on that coming out soon so you might already it might already be out by the time that you watch this but so those two tutorials on how to do a gl glitter tumbler from start to finish and how to do the ombre effect will tell you everything you need to know and then we need to put a coat of epoxy on our tumbler before we put our decal on so it's right now it's on my tumbler turner. I have a tutorial for that as well. And the epoxy is on and it's curing. Once the epoxy is dry, and I waited 24 hours before this step, we need to sand it. It's important that you use safety equipment, uh, glasses, a respirator, and gloves because epoxy dust is nothing to mess with. We want to keep you safe. So get your safety equipment on, make sure that you have good ventilation as well. And you're gonna use um, a fine grit sandpaper and you're gonna get all the roughness off of the surface. You want your tumbler to be as smooth as possible. So just go ahead and sand it until it feels smooth to your fingers. And then you'll want to wash the whole thing down with some rubbing alcohol. So just go and get it, it gets all the debris off, all of that epoxy dust off, everything that might make it difficult for your water slide decal to go on smoothly. So just get all of that off, clean off your surface. And if you're doing mugs or wine glasses, same thing. You just, you're just gonna you don't need to sand them, of course, but you need to wipe everything down with rubbing alcohol so that you make sure there's no dust or dirt on them. All right, now it's time to put our water slide decal on. We're gonna start with the easiest one first, which is a ceramic mug. You take your decal and you place it into a bowl of tap water. It's gonna curl up like this, don't worry about that. Now you'll want you to check your packaging to see how long it should soak. Mine needed to soak for 60 seconds. While I'm waiting for that, I'm gonna put some water on the surface of my mug. That's going to help it slip and slide on that mug and allow me to position it a little easier. So once it's been enough time, you can gently pick up your water slide decal, set it on your mug, hold it in your left thumb, and slide with your right thumb and forefinger. And it comes right off just like that. Isn't that cool? Now you'll see it can move around on the surface. So go ahead and position it where you want it to be. Um, this is one of the cool things about a water slide decal. And then you'll want to dry it just with a paper towel, just let lightly move from the center outward. This gets out the excess water and also uh, clears up some of the wrinkles as well. But if you have issues, you can pull it like I am doing right here to make sure it's really smooth and clear without any wrinkles or folds or anything like that. And here's what it looks like. It's very smooth, see? And really very vibrant. I think it's, it's uh, really lovely. Okay, let's do a wine glass. And we're going to do a sunflower that was cut with the precise cut. So it's got all the little bits. So again, we're gonna put that into our tap water and we're gonna let it soak for 60 seconds. While it's soaking, I'm gonna get the surface of my wine glass a little wet just like before. 
you don't want your water slide decal to soak any longer than it should because the decal can come off in the water and then it's really difficult to use and manipulate. So don't go beyond what they suggest unless you're having a lot of issues. And once that's ready, gently pick it up and position it on your glass. And you're gonna, just like before, you're gonna hold it on with your left thumb while you slide the backing off with your right thumb and forefinger, just as I'm doing here. And this is the precise one. So these petals are a lot fiddlier and there's more likelihood that they'll want to fold in as you're sliding it. That's what it looks like. We can see there's some wrinkling and a couple of the petals are not in position, but we can fix that with an X-Acto knife or weeding tool. And when that looks like the way that we like it, we're going to take our paper towel and very gently, we're going to wipe from the center outward and get the wrinkles out as well as all the moisture. I mean, while it's wet like this, you can still reposition it and that's really, it's really helpful. So if you don't like it, just keep working with it. If you have to, you can put a little extra water on there while you get it into position. But once it's in position, get that excess water off. And this is what it looks like. And you'll notice that because I used the precise cut version of this, we don't see like a circle around our sunflower. We just see the sunflower. And that's why I recommend the precise cut version for the wine glass. It is just harder to use. So be aware. You may want to practice a little bit first and just keep trying if it gets stuck. Okay, so now let's do the tumbler. The tumbler is the hardest because it's got... A lot of things going on. You know, before you start, you should always test to make sure that you got things the right size. So right now I've just placed my decal without it being wet or anything on my tumbler to make sure that this is going to look right and everything is in position. And then I'm gonna get my water and then we're going to start soaking the sunflower. Again, I cut mine out with the precise cuts instead of the simple smooth cuts because I wanted to be sure that we could do it this way but you are gonna be happier if you use the smooth cuts. You really cannot see the edges of the decal, the transparent decal paper, after you put on your epoxy in the second time. But while your decal is soaking, remember to get your surface wet because that's going to help it slide off a little easier and also allow you to position it, reposition it on your tumbler for the right look. Once that is soaked for 60 seconds. We're going to gently pick it up and we're going to place it on our tumbler, just like we did with the mug and the wine glass. And you can see already those petals are going to be tricky, <laughs> but it's okay, we can do this. So again, we hold it down with our left thumb and we pull it off with the right thumb and forefinger, very gentle because you don't want it to rip or anything like that. Though I didn't have any, any ripping, but still. Pull it off gently, and that stem is going to need to be fixed, and that's okay, because we can fix all of this. And I'm going to use my X-Acto knife to get these leaves put back in the right position. And then, that looks good, and you just pick things up and move them around. Just be very gentle. Make sure that stem is as straight as we can get it. And it's a little long, I'll cut that off later. And then you can see here the petals I have folded over in a couple spots, but I can fix that. And just sort of pick it up and peel it off away from itself and then lay it down again and put it into position. You can use like, you know, a tool or something just to get that. All right, so here is the, the sunflower. And again, we're going to dry that off just like we did before. And we're make sure that you're getting all the wrinkles out and all the water out. And this actually looks fantastic. I was worried that the precise cuts would be too difficult, but with some perseverance, it turned out just fine. All right, so now that we have the sunflower on, I wanna put on the flower bed at the bottom of the mug. Now this wraps around the mug and it should be just about the right size to fit. It might end up being just a little bit longer, but that's okay because we can always snip a little bit off. Now, if you're going, if you're not letting these dry before you do your next decal on the same surface, you're going to want to make sure that you don't set your decal face down or touch it because while it's drying, it's still very fragile. So be very careful with that if you keep working with it while it's wet. All right, so let's put our decal into our 
tub of tap water. Let it sit there for 60 seconds. And while that is going on, we're going to get the bottom a little bit wet, just like before. And then we're going to position it. And I decided to start it like in the back and gently pull it off holding it down with our left hand and pulling with our right hand. Of course, if you're left-handed, you do the reverse. And it slides right off just like this, and we wrap it around the back. And again, we can use water if we need to you know, keep it wet while we're repositioning it. And it overlaps a little bit in the back, but I snipped it off and drying it all off just like before. And again, the drying really does make a difference because it helps smooth it out. And there we go, that looks awesome. Okay, so now it's time to do the top. I separated these into two pieces because I really thought it would be easier to use that way because they're really quite thin. Also, it fit on the sheet better for doing print thin cut on my Cricut. But I want to position these so that I don't really notice the joins, so I'm gonna put the, the joins on either side of the tumbler, um, you know, on, on either side of the sunflower. And it's the same thing, hold it with one hand and slide it off gently with the other. And then you can reposition it so it's where you want it to be. I wanted mine to be right up at the very top edge of my white on my tumbler. And same thing, get, get it a little bit wet, dry, dry off one side and get the other side a little bit wet. And then when it's ready, you hold it in your left hand and gently pull it off and into position. And uh, there we go, just move everything around where you want it to be. I love that part about this. You cannot do this with like self-adhesive vinyl. Once it's there, it's there. You have to rip it off and put it back on. And then this little, there's just a little bit more overlap than I wanted, so I cut that off there. And the bottom is a little bit rough here where I, I joined it, but that's okay. It's not a big deal. It's supposed to be leaves, right? So, or sorry, it's supposed to be grass. It doesn't have to be perfect. And once everything is dry, and be very careful not to touch the parts that are drying, uh, we're going to put on the very last bit, which is the craft a life you love. And I'm gonna soak that just like before. And this will be the easiest part of this tumbler. It has a nice, nice smooth edge that makes it very simple to put on compared to all the, the fiddly little flowers that we've been doing. So as you can see how easy that was, and then we just position it into place, make sure it's straight, and then dry it off. And there we go. And then we need to put our little butterflies on because with the precise cut, the butterflies were all individual, which, you know, is nice because then you get to put them where you want. So it's the same thing. I'm letting them soak for 60 seconds. And then you just put them right onto your mug and slide them right off and into the position that you want. And that is, that's all. It's very simple, actually. The little, the little butterflies are are easy to do. All right, so make sure everything is dry or at least the excess water is blotted off. So be sure to let your water slide decals dry for at least three hours and then you'll be able to seal and or set your water slide decals onto your surface depending on which one, on which sort of surface you used. Now, this is what my mug and my wine glass look like before I put them into the oven. And now I'm going to go ahead and put them in. I've set it at 230 degrees Fahrenheit. And we're going to bake them for 15 minutes. And then I will show you exactly what they look like when they're done. So there's no guesswork here. And here is what they look like after they're baked. You can see there's no discoloration, nothing. I mean, it looks like they're printed on. It's amazing. It, like, it actually bakes into the surface. Now, here's our tumbler. It's also had three hours to dry and we're putting its second coat of epoxy onto it so that it will seal the water slide decal right inside of it and nothing can hurt it at all. And so here it is, doesn't this look amazing? I mean, it's got this beautiful sheen to it, but you can still see the glitter under the water slide decals because we use the transparent kind. I just love the way that this looks. You'll notice that on this on the tumbler versus on the mug and the wine glass that the image 
gets a little blurry. The only real reason for that is because we're putting it onto a surface that has some texture and something else going on like the glitter. So it changes the look of it. But when you put this onto a mug or a wine glass or a plate or a piece of wood, all of your detail is kept. So just keep that in mind that with a glitter a glitter tumbler, it's gonna really kind of have a more of a watercolor effect, which I think looks really cool. I am beyond thrilled with how this water slide decal tumbler turned out. I mean, the mug and wine glass are awesome, yeah, but this tumbler has to be one of my favorite things I've ever made. The colors, they're so vibrant and happy. I am a big believer in water slide decals and I'll be using them a lot more from now on. One thing I do want to note is that I chose a fairly ambitious project for my design. If this is your first attempt, you may want to start with a simpler shape without a lot of projecting bits, like the sunflower. These projections have a tendency to want to fold over as you apply it, and in hindsight, I think it would have been fine to have had a smooth margin around the flower, so like a circle here, because you really can't see the edge once it's all dried and has the epoxy on it. And I went back and I made an alternate version of the flower garden design that has smooth edges so you can use that instead of what I used. But it's your choice what you want to use. Whatever you do, definitely do a practice sheet first. In fact, I recommend you print, spray, and cut two decals for or sets of decals so you can practice with one set and use the other one for your finished product. Don't bother to try practicing with a, a just a blank sheet of water slide decal paper. You need the ink and the sealer on it, the paper, for it to work properly. And, of course, once your water slide decal is dry, which is usually after a few hours, don't forget to either seal it with epoxy, like I did on this one, or bake it in the oven. Use the directions that come with your package for the best results. And keep in mind that finished water slide decal projects need to be hand washed, not dishwashed. And if you have any questions at all about making or using water slide decals, please leave a comment below or post over in my amazing Facebook group at jennifermaker.com slash Cricut Crafters. And if you are interested in learning how I made this blue and white ombre glitter tumbler, watch for my next tutorial. I will be showing you exactly how to do this as well as other fun glitter effects like this. And that's it for today. Remember, if you can tell me what you want to make, I can show you how to make it. Until next time.